Hi guys, I'm going to have another go at making one of those crawler bots, uh, one that moves forwards by stepping rather than using a wheel. Um, tried to make one a little while back and I wanted to use rubber band power, but I'm going to give up on that certainly for the time being. Um, rubber band gives all its energy up rather quickly, so I was only getting uh, three or four steps out of the bot before it had run out of power. So what I'm going to use instead is electric power. Um, I've pulled these out of an old toy car. Um, that's the gearbox and the engine combined. That's the battery pack box and in fact there's actually a 27 megahertz receiver there. So I can actually use a radio control to turn it on and off. Um, plan is I'm going to put a couple of bars across either wheel or either hub and then mount the feet on those bars so that as the wheel turns round it lifts the foot up, moves it forwards, puts the foot down, bodywork moves forwards, lifts the foot up, moves it forwards, puts it down, bodywork moves forwards and so on. So it steps forward. Um, so that's the plan. This is um, a plastic container that had salad from the local supermarket in it. I'm just going to use that as, um, as a body for it. And the chassis I shall make out of a piece of cardboard. Let's see if I can stick it all together. I think it'll fit in there with a bit of luck. And uh, away we go. Okay, I've just cut myself a disc out of some cardboard, the same size as the bottom of my plastic bowl, mainly to give me something to work with so I can uh, position the bits and pieces on it, see how it all fits together. I'm going to have to cut out so I can sink this into it, one way or the other then cut out where I want the feet to be and see how we go from there. Okay, um, I'm making this up as I'm going along. Current plan is to mount the motor assembly on a few bits of cardboard to build them up a bit sit it up here somewhere because the wheels are going to be right inside the bodywork. Um, the feet will stick down underneath. These black marks here are where the outside of the hubs is so I'm going to cut slots there for the feet to fit down through the base. So I shall glue these bits of cardboard together and probably hot glue that straight on top of it and then figure out some way of getting feet sticking out underneath the bodywork. Right, I've just cut two slots there so when my engine mountings dried the idea is there'll be not this piece of cardboard, but something like that will be the foot that sticks through there and is picked up and down by the wheel turning. Obviously I'll have to measure it so when the wheel's at its, or when it's at its most forward point it's going to stop before it hits there and when it's at its most rearward point obviously it's got to only be about that long so it can go like that. We'll see. While I'm waiting for the other bits to dry, what I'm going to do is hot glue and tape a couple of stubs of, um, I think it's a bit of cane actually, onto each wheel 
hub. I'm actually going to put it on as a complete piece first of all just to keep it straight and then I'll cut it off so that they're aligned. So uh, better warm up my hot glue gun. Alright, hot glue gun's ready. glues really just to hold it in place and then I shall wrap some electrical tape around it to actually give it strength and then as I say I'll cut, cut it off on the inside obviously I don't want it across there or the wheels can't turn just let that cool down always try and rush things and the hot glues never cool down before I start moving. Just give it a bit more on the other side. down and then I'll tape it. Right there we are, hot glued in place and a few turns of electrical tape round it to make sure it doesn't move. That's the general idea. And then say some feet or legs or something, which I haven't decided on the shape yet, will be going up and down in there. Right, just trying to calculate what sort of height and length I need the legs to be. When the wheel's at the top there, that's when the leg has got to be at its highest point. It's got to be able to Go forwards. I just move that over there a bit. And then when it goes all the way around, obviously that will be at the back there. So it's got to go forwards and backwards, up and down. I'm beginning to think I'll have to put some feet underneath it to stop it flipping around when the, when the wheel's turning, which is probably a good idea anyway. Right, still waiting for the glue to dry. Just a very rough try of the general mechanism. general idea. Right, just salvaged these bits from one of my old toy cars. Um, it's little wheels made out of, well out of CDs but uh, I just cut the circles from the CDs and then um, tidied them up with a file so they're nice round wheels. Uh, they've got plastic drinking straws through the middle of them to act as um, bearings or axles. And also, these are even smaller little wheels I cut out of a CD, just to use as washers. So they'll be useful on this project. This is the next part of the project. This uh, little square of cardboard, this is going to be the foot. 
that gets lifted up, moved forwards, put down, lifted up, moved forwards, put down. So it will all become clear when I assemble it, I hope. Right, here's our stepping mechanism again, or crawling mechanism. I should put a couple of these washers, plastic washers I've made, on the inside to give us a bit of freedom of movement. And then I'll use another one on the outside and actually um, hot glue that in place just to stop the legs falling off the outside. Right, there we are. Got the plastic washers on the inside and hot glued one on the outside to hold the legs in place. Now we'll hot glue the gearbox and motor in place. Make sure we got it evenly spaced. And then we'll fit the um, foot underneath. Right, now we're going to glue the foot in place. We need to make sure that the legs are as high up as they can go on the top of their throw. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, that's how it's going to be. So that's going to be glued on about there somewhere. Right, nearly there. I'll put a couple of, um, what can we call them, side walls? Bearers, something or other, something for it to actually sit on. So if I give it a bit of go forwards. Looks like we've got the general idea. Okay, everything seems to be working. So this is my crawler bot. Uh, constructed from bits of an old radio controlled car, uh, some cardboard and a plastic bowl that some salad came in from the local supermarket. Okay, we'll try it from a distance first. That's backwards. So we can have a look at the, the details. So that's the back axle and motor assembly off of a radio controlled car. Also the battery case and the 27 megahertz receiver. Uh, the plastic bowl, salad bowl. Cardboard legs or foot, or what you want to call it. Uh, a couple of eyes. And that's it. Let's see if it will go again. I'm trying to get in close so you can see the detail. Oops, backwards again. There we go. Success. Obviously I could paint it a little bit, make it look a bit more interesting. But I wanted to leave it clear so you could actually see the bits working inside. There you go. That was fun.